Okay, so in this little video we're going to look at how to set up a two-player game in circuitry. Um, setting up a game for three players, four players, five players, six players is exactly the same. Um, we'll just keep it at two because of the space I've got to deal with. Um, so we've already gone through the contents of what's in the box. So to begin with, if we start with the circuit cards, you need to locate circuit card number one. And basically just place that centrally between players. Um, the next thing is to take circuit cards 2 to 7 out from the pack and just leave that pack there to one side. And if we've got two players, then player, you can either shuffle these up and deal one of these cards out to each player randomly, or each player can just pick which colour uh, they wish to play. So let's say, for example, um, for this setup, the players are just going to pick. So player 1 is going to pick the orange and player 2 is going to pick the dark blue. So these cards here with the um, charge point on, we've got 4 left, 4 remaining, and they are just removed completely from the game. Okay, so I've just put those in the box here and set that to one side. They're not going to be used for the rest of the game at all. Okay, next thing to do is you take the remainder of the circuit cards, you give them a good shuffle, And you deal out three per player. Okay, so one, one, two, two, three, three. Okay, and again, the rest of these cards are set aside and are not used for the rest of the game. So at the moment, we should have four cards in hand per player, which we have. One of those cards being the charge point card for that player. So the player one is orange, so they're going to take the orange pawn and they're going to place that on the orange node on card number one. And player two is the um, dark blue colour, so they're going to take the dark blue pawn and that's going to go on the dark blue node on card number one. And that's nearly the full setup. We have our movement cards stacked here. We've got our charge cards, which I'm just going to place to one side there. The only other thing we need to do is take the action cards. And as I said in a previous video, the action cards are six different types of action. And for each action, there are six cards. So that's the force action. This is the rotate action. We'll talk about what these do later on. And you can see I'm just setting these out in individual piles face up. That's the flip action I've just done, portal action, slide action, and finally, because that's five of them, the swap action, which makes it six. And that's the setup for the game, it's as quick as that.